I have to be very careful because my inclination is to play the game of saying, I, this was a very inexpensive jacket. Mm -hmm. it, it wasn't. I think this jacket cost, I think, something like $70. The point is that you have to be careful in this embracing the simple lifestyle that you don't buy cheap goods that are going to wear out yeah. and be thrown away within two weeks. Uh, I mean, you don't have to have a lot of jackets, but make sure you got something that's going to last. Something that a year from now, two years from now, is going to look as good as it does today. A lot of the stuff people buy cheap and within two weeks, I mean, you live in your neighborhood. How much stuff gets thrown away? Yeah, and that's why there's a dollar store in every yeah, corner. Yeah, because I mean, folks buy stuff and it's disposable. I yeah. mean, cameras, whatever, it's disposable. Yeah. You know, you just buy it, a uh, can opener. It doesn't last more than a few months because it's a cheap can yeah. opener, you know. Yeah. And, and so you end up uh, continuing to feed into that, that uh, dis yeah. disposable so, society. You know, you so, know. you know, make sure that you don't, you don't buy junk. Another thing to note is that uh, some of Peggy's best clothes have been bought in thrift shops. Now, you no thrift shop would sell anything as bad as that. <laughs> but you can get some really nice stuff at thrift shops yeah. at a at a minimal cost. I was a I was in uh, Cardiff, Wales and uh, uh, to do a speaking thing and I got a note, uh, I got a call and it was the uh, Lord Mayor of Cardiff wanted to have me for dinner. And uh, fine. And I got a call back from the guy that was hosting me and saying, uh, "Do you have a a suit?" Well, I didn't have a suit. He said, well, you really should have a suit. So I called my wife. I said, I don't know what to do. I said, I, I hate to buy I don't need a suit. She said, well, you can always use a good suit. Go out and get a suit. So I leave the place. I'm walking down, and I pass this thrift shop. And I walked in, and I said, do you have any suits? I, I went over. Here was a suit. It was magnificent. I put it on. It fit perfectly. I went to the dinner. And all that the mayor was talking about was, that suit, that's really a beautiful suit. And he wanted to know, how did I pack that and carry it all across the Atlantic to keep the crease? It's so nicely pressed. And it cost me, I kid you not, it cost me $6 for the suit. And it's, a, it's beautiful. It's, I still have it. It's, it's a great suit. So whenever I have to wear a suit, I pull out the $6 one. Yeah. So, uh, you know, there are ways to cut back and still not look like you. Yeah, well, you know, he's, you've been giving me a pretty hard time. Yeah, well, the, that's all right. The, the, uh, the, uh, I, I will have to say I branched out this last year, and I, I got some uh, uh, fur, fur fabric polar fleece, and so I made uh, a, polar, a polar fleece. So, just so when those fundamentalists fur. say, did you lay your fleece there before you. the Lord, you, you say, <laughs> yeah, I am. I, I actually can. have a... Uh, another outfit that I wear when I go high church, you know, Episcopal, it's very oh, yeah. sleek and I'm, uh, you know, made it. But, uh, you know, I think it's a good point, though, because we, we often say that simple living doesn't mean ugly living yeah. because the city really yeah. needs beauty. And, and you don't and we, need to spend a lot of money. You know, there was a couple that worked for our ministry, um, Urban Promise, which we have in four different cities across the United States, the other affiliates of EAPE, our organization. And uh, she had uh, previously... Uh, graduated from a university in interior design, mm. how to fix up houses and spend a fortune uh, to impress people. Well, she married this guy, and they came and worked with us in the summer, and they stayed on, and they got married. A lot of people who come and work together in these situations end up getting married. And they bought this row house in Camden for about, I think it was about $6,000, because you can't Nobody was selling, right, right. nobody was a buying can. So they bought this house for $6,000. And they made a decision that they would not buy anything from the house. Yeah. They went down to the trash heap every day and picked up sofas and, mm -hmm. can and they decorated the place. And when it was all finished, this, this, every room decorated to the hilt with, with trash. Yeah. The Philadelphia Inquirer yeah. came in and did a story on the house. And it wasn't in the uh, living section. It was in the Better Homes and Gardens section. That's great. This house was so, and they, I mean, they made a big thing. Look how beautiful this house was. And they did it because they wanted to communicate to the people who lived in this very beat up, yeah. run down neighborhood. You don't have to spend a fortune to have an attractive looking living room. 
You don't have to spend an arm and a leg to have a house that has some beauty to it. Come and visit us. Mm -hmm. Come and have dinner at our house. Yeah. We will show you that you can, you can have a good house. You don't have to go to the trash heap like we did. You can go down to the secondhand store. But the idea of spending tens of thousands of dollars when you can decorate your house beautifully yeah. at a fraction of that cost. Yeah. And they, they were a living demonstration to that community. Yeah. It was very, very important.